so we looked at all these variables before along with their data types now we have got one two three four five data types we don't actually need the short one but instead sometimes you might require it but the fact is that integer character flow double are actually common data types used in most of the object uh, object oriented uh, programming languages that are derived from C so we have C++ we also have C, uh, we also have C sharp then we even have Java programming language now all of them use some form of data type if uh, in their variable definition so data types are essential as we discussed uh, they're actually essential to tell the uh, machine or the memory uh, about how much uh, space inside the memory we require to store our constant data along with their name now we are going to look at initialization but before we move on to initialization we need to look at how this definition or variable definition is working and what's the difference between variable definition and variable declaration now you might come across uh, various terminologies used by many other programmers and if you are studying about programming especially C and many other uh, programming languages then you will find terms like variable declaration now there the no, variable declaration and variable definition are two distinct terminologies and they too also have uh, different usage and the definition part is actually assigning a value inside the memory so when we declare a variable suppose we have declared this variable with the name called i and this variable has uh, a, a data type which is an integer or in short this is int this integer data type will actually tell the compiler and uh, it will tell the memory of my machine through the compiler that I need four bytes of space in my RAM when I when I'm actually executing this program so this is a way uh, we assign a space for our variable inside the memory now when we talk about now uh, this when we assign a space a specified space inside the memory this is the variable definition that we have talked earlier uh, we, we have actually talked about earlier and variable declaration is different and how is it different variable declaration is actually you know you're declaring the variable but you're not actually assigning or you're not actually you know asking the memory to uh, on, to uh, specifically uh, assign a space for a certain data or a certain variable that will be used later on but inside variable def definition when we use that terminology we are actually meaning that we have assigned a specified amount of space inside the memory but when we talk about declaration we mean that we haven't actually assigned any sort of space inside the memory so we need to be careful about that now when we talk about assigning space if we uh, actually draw the RAM the RAM is somewhat like this uh, so if we consider this to be a RAM now there are actually uh, more parts of it but I'm just showing you for uh, for understanding now let me actually differentiate or create different parts inside the RAM now this parts this parts actually represent one bytes of space inside your RAM so we have one byte one byte and in total we have one two three four five six six bytes of data or six bytes of sorry not data six bytes of space that is available for our program to use now remember that this is a RAM so a RAM is a temporary based memory so 
uh, we are only going to use the memory in the short term or when the program is executing while the program is executing or in the execution process or more precisely in its lifetime it's going to use this RAM but when the program when this program is uh, when when this program has finished execution process then it's going to release all those uh, memory space so that uh, it's going to release that memory space so that other programs can use it after it now when we declare when we, sorry when we define a variable in here like this we have got this variable i with the name i and we are telling the memory so this is the ram or the memory the temporary memory we are telling the memory that we need four bytes of space for our variable i so for this variable we need four bytes of space so we can actually start from here so one two three and four so we need this four bytes of space we are assigning this four bytes of space inside our RAM when we are defining this variable now if this a variable called I contains a letter 3 uh, I mean a constant integer uh, constant integer which is uh, a, which is the digit 3 then it will be stored inside this four bytes of memory space now we know that this integer uh, data type has a huge range and that's why we have got this uh, four bytes of space assigned for our data for this constant now let's move on to initialization so that it will become much easier for us to understand now when we are talking about initialization what we are doing is that the first step that we had taken is variable definition the second step is variable initialization so what is initialization initialization looks something like this i3 so this variable i uh, this variable called i with the data type integer has contains a value or a constant integer digit which is 3 and this digit is actually contained inside this variable called i now what happens when we go back to the memory like likewise as i've shown you we have got four bytes of data let me draw that again we have got four bytes of data one two uh, one two three four so this four bytes of data which is four byte this four bytes of uh, space will now contain the digit uh, three if we change the digit or the value the constant inside the i to 34 like this this four bytes of data uh, I mean sorry this four bytes of space inside the RAM will now contain the number 34 inside this entire four byte now be because this is a huge range it can store up to I guess um, in the integer data type can store up to like 